Hi everyone, Vincenzo here with a new episode of a Yuka Rocks, a series of ukulele tutorials on some of the best rock riffs of all time. So if like me, you want to rock out on the ukulele, you can't miss this one. Today you will learn how to play Hysteria by Muse, one of my favorite songs by the English band. In the tutorial you will learn how to play the main bass riff, the guitar riff and the chords, so that you can play the entire song. Having said that, let's get started, but before doing that, let me remind you to subscribe to the channel. I don't like to say these things, but it would really help me if you did, and it doesn't cost you anything. The bass riff lasts four measures. Let's learn it one at a time. For the first measure, you start with zero, so the open A string. Zero, then 10, zero, then you have 10, 12, zero, 10. Let's try to put this first part together. Three, four. Make sure you get this right before you carry on with the rest of measure one. You have zero, seven, zero, eight, eight, seven, five, seven. All together, three, four. Now let's put the first measure together. Three, four. This is not that difficult, however, the tempo of the song is quite demanding. For the right hand, I'm using the thumb for the fourth and the third string, the index for the second string, and the middle finger for the first string. Later on, I will show you some tricks to help you play the riff at the fast tempo of the song. For the second measure, you move on to the second string, and you have 0, 0, 10, 0, 10, 12, 0, 15. All together, three, four. You carry on and you have zero, twelve, zero, fifteen, fifteen, zero, fifteen, and twelve on the first string. All together, three, four. Now let's play the entire second measure. Three, four. And now let's work on the third measure, which is probably the hardest one as it is played between the first and the third string. You have two, two, three, two, then three, five, two, three. All together, Three, four. Notice that I'm slightly lifting the fingers of my left hand to have clarity between each note. So it's this. And not this. By the way, let me tell you that this is more difficult to do at 93 BPM, but this is the challenge you have with this riff. You carry on and you have two, three, two, 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 one, two, one. This is probably the hardest part. All together, three, four, The good thing now is that measure four is the same as measure one. So you've done with the bass riff and it's time to put it together. I'm gonna do it very slowly. Three, four. Again, three, four.
Now, let me tell you a few tricks to play this riff at 93 BPM. First of all, I would say practice very slowly and you'll see that you'll get there. For example, start at 50 BPM and then within one or two weeks, depending on your experience, you will get to 93 BPM. One trick that you can do if you don't have enough time to practice is to use the thumb and the index, like this. So I'm alternating one note with the thumb and another one with the index. This makes things easier. However, when you get to the third measure, do it slightly differently. So, thumb for everything on the first string and index for everything on the first string. Another thing that you can do is to use a pick. I know the purists of the ukulele will be against it, but some people might find it easier. If you decide to use the pick, I suggest you use alternate picking, meaning you always alternate between picking down and up, like this. By the way, you can also do it like this. Basically, you use the tip of your index finger as your pick. Having said that, keep watching to see how I will play this in the play along. And now let's work on the guitar riff. You'll be happy to know that this riff is easier. The only difficulty is that you have to bend some notes. You might be familiar with this if you watch my At UK Rock series, but anyway, in the description, you can find a tutorial on how to bend notes on the ukulele. So the riff starts on fret five, and this is the rhythm. Once you land this, you land 50% of the entire riff. One more time, three, four, and again, three, four. Let's go to the bendings now. You have seven, a half step bend from seven, then release, which means you go back to seven without plugging, and then five. Again, bear in mind, I'm just plugging twice. Once for the first seven, and then for five. So seven, bend, release, five. One more time, seven, bend, release, five. Now, together with the first part, three, four. And again, three, four. Now, let's move to the second measure of the riff. It's very similar to before. The only variation is that instead of starting on fret five, you start on fret four. And so you have this, three, four. The same thing happens for measure three. The only difference is that the first note is fret five on the third string. So you get this, three, four. Now, let's see what happens for the last measure of the riff. You start with fret number four and the usual rhythm. And then you have this. So, what I did was seven, half step bend, release, bend, and release. Basically, you have different sounds, notes, but you only pluck ones, like this. And again, when I put it together with the first part, three, four. Now let's play the entire guitar riff. Three, four. If you can't bend the notes, let me show you an alternative way to play this riff. Three, four. There you go. But I would say learn how to bend notes because it's a really cool technique. Now, let me tell you the chords that you need to play this song. 
These are the chords for the verse, very simple stuff. And these are the one for the chorus, again, very simple. I suggest you work out your own strumming pattern, actually patterns, because it'd be better to have one strumming pattern for the verse and one for the chorus. In the description, you can find a tutorial on how to find your own strumming patterns. However, if you are in a hurry, this strumming pattern, down, down, up, up, down, down, can work for both the verse and the chorus. One more time, three, four, down, down, Very simple. It's time for the play along. I will be playing the bass riff four times and after the first two times I will start with the guitar riff. The tempo will be 93 BPM. If you're wondering how I'm gonna be playing the bass riff, I will be using a pick. So having said that, get ready. You're about to start playing. tutorial was to teach you how to play Hysteria by Muse. Learn it, post your video on social media and tag me. I will share your video in my stories. On my Patreon page you can find the tabs and the backing tracks that you need to practice this song. You have three backing tracks, one at the original tempo, one slower and another one even slower. And one more thing, don't forget that if you learned something from this video and you would like to say thank you, you can buy me a coffee, link in the description. That's all for now. Let me know in the comments if you manage to learn this song. If you want help in your ukulele journey, take a look at my freebies in the description. I have free tabs, a guide, and even a free course. If you're into rock music, subscribe to my channel and follow the hashtag Ayukerox on Instagram. And don't forget to check out the series Ayukerox to learn how to play some of the most iconic rock songs on the ukulele. Having said that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week. Ciao!